Okay, here we're going to be looking at another correlation problem. We're going to use practice problem number 11 on page 498. So we've got several steps we're going to go through here to come to some conclusions about this particular set of data. So the first thing is simply to uh, examine the data as we've got it graphed out here for us already. So in this instance, we don't have to graph it. We're given the graph. Um, and determine whether there appears to be a linear correlation between X and Y. So pause the video for a moment, take a look at that, and what would be your visual assessment taking a look at it? Well, it appears to be some kind of linear correlation. As we look, we can see that we've got four data points that go along uh, a line together. So that's, that's, that's pretty decent. Um, but we also, as you can see, have got a cluster of, of points together down in the left bottom and in that so we have that and then we have that one single point up at the top so the next step we're going to do is we're going to go use our software and find the value of the linear co correlation coefficient of r here we're going to go and look here we're going to enter our data um, is going to be our first step I'll help you with this keep in mind because you've got a graph you're going to have to determine your data values from the image so for example this first data point this arrow is pointing to is uh, at 1, 1. So it's a data point where x equals 1 and y equals 1. So looking at the graph, you need to calculate backwards from the graph what each of those data points are and enter them into StatsCrunch. And then you're going to open Stat, Regression, Simple Linear, and then you're going to select your variables. So x for your x and then the y as well. And pause the video while you get all of that set and then once you've got all of that set up turn the video back on and we'll check and look at your output together so you should have got an output that looks like this and here we can see here's our r correlation coefficient so if we're looking at this what is going to be the r that i've obtained from my data set here keeping in mind that you're Rounding rule, it's going to be 0 0.906, and that's a strong relationship, right? So going back and look at what we looked at in the previous video in terms of strengths of relationships, that's a strong relationship. Now we're going to go back and we're going to remove a single data point. So you're going to remove data point 1010, 10, and you're going to repeat parts A and parts B. So again, if you're going through first and looking at that with your data point 1010 10 removed, um, you'll be able to see that it actually looks like there's no relationship at all. There's just a cluster of the numbers together. And then we go and we enter our data and we run that analysis. We find that we get a relationship of zero. So there's absolutely no relationship between the X and the Y. So, taking all of this together, what can you conclude from this about the possible effect of a single outlier? Well, we can see here that a single outlier value can make a huge change in your interpretation. So we went from a strong relationship to no relationship at all. This is again why it's very important that you graph your data first and take a look and see if you've got any outliers before you proceed any further. Um, so a single outlier can massively change your interpretation. Correlations are very sensitive to the effect of outliers. So keep that in mind when you're working with your correlation data.